Rossermania strikes back hard. What's going on guys, it's your boy Apathy today, and today I'm going to be talking about Roster Mania. Can't do it right without my mic. So in today's Roster Mania, we're going to be talking about what went down yesterday and some rumors that you guys probably didn't know, and I'll be speaking of it today. So the big news yesterday, actually two big newses. Is that, is that a word? It doesn't matter because it's epic. Octane and Aqua leaves Envy, but wait, there's more. Elevate, obviously a top team right now. Denial, Classic, yes, Classic leaves to Denial. He is the, for officially their fourth. And wait, what happened? Octane gets picked up by Elevate. Yes, he's sketched on Envy. Was it in his best interest? Maybe. Elevate is a good org, and they do have a really good team. Now, was it his best interest, like I said? We'll find out soon enough. But wait, wait, where did Aqua go? Where did he go? Obviously, in the same place he should have gone, to Epsilon. Yes, another news that you guys probably missed. Epsilon kicked out royalty. Yes, they saw Aqua as a free agent and they decided to go ahead and snap and grab him before it was too late. Epsilon now containing three-fourths of TR, which used to be a dominant squad in the beginning of this game, should be a deadly sight, to be honest. But you never know. They haven't played together for a while. Aqua, I think he's a beast. So they should fit good, but you can't really beat Royalty's hill pressure and his consistency in slaying hills. He may not do the best every map, it may not have the highest kills, but he does apply a lot of pressure in Hardpoint, and that's really, really good. And with Classic joining Denial, that was actually my pick from yesterday. You guys heard it from me. Slack actually mentioned it in the tweet, and it's finally official. A Classic has officially, officially joined Denial. No surprise there. To bring you some more news, Octane on Elevate. We actually scrimmed them yesterday. They're looking pretty strong. They were looking for a pretty much a main bow. Classic was their main bow. Is he really a bow? Not really. So, with this new lineup, it could be deadly. We're not sure yet, but it should be interesting. Now, the rumor that's been on the street, a lot of people are wondering, who is Envy picking up? And I have the intel here. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. I'm kidding, guys, I'm kidding. So, basically, what the intel is right now, supposedly, and it's just a rumor, but it might happen. I don't know even if it's official yet. It might not be. And we obviously need two player, a bow and a sub. They're struggling right now, right? Not too many players to pick up. There's barely any free agents anymore. There's only like one AR left, which is Mochilla, and I doubt they want to pick him up. No offense to him. I think he's a good player, but that's just uh, doesn't suit Envy. That's not Envy's vibe. With that being said, Jared is the only one on TCM. Now, TCM Jerd is in a big contract. I'm pretty sure he probably has about about 5,000, maybe even more. You know, they got a team house just for Jerd and his squad. He's pretty much the only player left. He lives in the team house, so he could move to the Envy team house, which that's why it's not a big deal. But the Envy is gonna have to buy out that contract if they want that player, and it's probably not gonna be cheap at all. We're talking about five to ten thousand. I don't even know how much you're. His contract's under. So, if Jurd does get picked up by Envy, which is very likely just because Looney and J Cap love Jurd. They know he's good. He, I think he's good. Everyone knows he's a good player. But then they'll be missing an AR. Who can that be? Well, I have the rumor here. So, supposedly, it might be Goonjar. And I've seen, you know, Envy, you know, Looney actually played with Goonjar before in this game. Uh, you know, everyone knows Goonjar is not that bad of a player. He is a main uh, AR, and that just suits him, you know. Like, when you put Mochilla, and Goonjar together, you know, they're both good players, but some would rather prefer others than others, you know, friends, chemistry more than just a player that you may not know how he act, or you don't like how he acts, or stuff like that, it's normal. But if that happens, what's gonna happen with TCM? That's a great question. Now, a lot of you guys know Eggs and DB, everyone, TCM is pretty much demolished. If Jared leaves Envy, that's it for TCM, but wait. I know something's gonna happen with TCM. I doubt they're gonna leave the scene like that. They have a team house and everything. So there's a possibility they might repick Ace and TP and they're gonna build two around them. Or if not, you know, you never know. Maybe the OTCM players come back from the grave and pick up two other players. That'd be very interesting, wouldn't it? Now, before I go and before I close with all the intel that I've told, Mochilla, Fears, who else? Who else? Mochilla, Fears. Um, study. There's a couple free agents left. Anticity. DT is also looking for one. Don't know who they're picking up yet. You know, Rise are still looking for one. I don't think they picked up anyone yet. They've probably been running with one player. I'm not sure it's going to be official. Maybe soon. Orbit's also running with one player. They were running with Fears yesterday. They played pretty good. And, you know, so all these teams are still looking for one. So there's going to be a finale of Roster Mania. It ain't over yet! But before I go, I missed the one important news. Optic Nation has picked up Nameless. Now, we all saw this coming from probably 
6,000 miles away. It was pretty obvious. We all know Nameless is a, you know, a really heavy O-N type of player. You know, he loved, Mirror loves him, Bowles loves him, Ricky loves him. They've all teamed before. You know, they all love each other. You know, in the end of the day, all these teaming situations work more if, like, skill is really involved in that. But they also choose friends and players they team with before over like other players. For example, let's say I'm as good as someone who's almost as good as me. I'm like 3%, no, he's like 2-3% two, two, better than me, which is pretty much like this little. And you know, they're gonna go with me just because they teamed with me, just because I have chemistry with them, because they probably like me a little bit more. And that's just the way it is, right? I mean, in the end of the day, like that's how Owen is. Owen is kind of similar to TK if you, if you like look at it. Like they choose players that they teamed with before or that they really like. Other than that, they don't they don't really get out the comfort zone. The only one maybe Mochilla was kind of random, but they needed an AR, so it was it was their only it was their only chance really. He was like the main only AR who was a free agent back there, then. So a lot of these team changes have been interesting. A lot of these are pretty good team changes. Uh, if Envy could you know fix their squad they're gonna be nasty as well so it should be interesting there's gonna be one more roster mania like i said before this ends i still have to do my last episode hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll always love giving me some intel I always love going in depth with these roster changes and stuff like that just having a little fun with you guys on youtube hope you guys liked the video hope i made your day don't forget to like comment and subscribe this has been your boy apathy and i'm a freaking super saiyan